Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are back. So today I am going to share with you my most efficient note-taking skill to tackle the CPA essay questions. The essay plays a gigantic part in the CPA examination, especially when the candidates are preparing to write the CV examination, the common final examination. Essay is 100%. There were no multiple choice anymore. And so many people told me that they were running out of time and they did not catch all the requirements when um, writing the essay, so they failed the exam. So to make sure that you are not one of those person um, and you can pass the exam successfully, I have created the following demonstration to use one of the CV case of last year to demonstrate how I take my notes when preparing for my CPA essay questions. So stay tuned. So before jumping into the demonstration, there are five steps that I do when I was preparing for the CPA essay notes. Um, so the first one is to record the minutes of the case in your paper. And the second is glance the length of the essay. And the third one is to glance the intro page but do not make notes yet but underline the information such as the requirement. So that's like the preliminary glance through of your first page or the second page of the essay. And the fourth point is read the intro page carefully and jot down the important information in the notes. And finally, um, highlight the numbers, but not all the numbers. So I will use the following demonstration to apply the five points that I have mentioned about. So let's jump right into the demonstration. All right, welcome back. Um, so today we are going to use the 2019 CV, day three simulation case number two, um, to illustrate the note taking technique that I have mentioned about. First of all, we look at the suggested time, which is the step one to record the number of time of the case. And secondly, uh, we cleanse the length of the essay. So usually for a 75 minutes case, it will be four to six pages. We glance through the case. So this is case two first page, second page, and third, and fourth, and fifth, and sixth. Okay, so that's marking key, so we stop. So we know that we have six pages of the case number two. And the third step is to glance the intro page, but do not make notes yet but use your pencil to underline the information, such as the requirement. So we see provide eye examination and sales prescription, so we know about it's VC. So it's early 2019, um, so I will underline it. And so this is the owner of Tomatrix is viewing the financial statement. So this is the year end of the financial statement. So I will also highlight it. So she is surprised to see only a small profit and comes to you, CPA, looking for advice. So you are a CPA, you are external, but not internal. Um, so you are providing advice. So she has product line analysis and she's not sure she has done it right. And she asks you to review her cost allocation and make all the required revision. So this is one of the requirements of the case. And she's also thinking of eliminating the sunglass line of the business. So she asks you to determine whether there is a support for eliminating it and the impact it would have on the VEC's profitability. So this is a managerial analysis, like whether to drop the line, um, to drop the sunglass line or not. And then she realized that she lacks the skill set and the time to perform detailed financial review. So she has heard of the business owner focusing only on a few key statistics called key performance indicator, um, KPI. So she asked you how KPI would be used for her and which KPI you would recommend and why. So this is the analysis of KPI. PY. Before prescription eyewear sales increase with the number of patients, Michelle is considering participating with the second optometrist 
so she will like your thought on the advantage and disadvantage of the arrangement so we know we need to provide some qualitative analysis such as the advantage and disadvantage given the person she has in mind so the person portfolio should be in appendix two and then in addition she has gathered information for VEC and her own tax return and have some question we know that this is a tax question that will be appear in appendix number three and finally she has been approached by the cloud-based abc cloud with a proposal to store the vcs data so we might probably have some information about the abc cloud in appendix four so she has asked you to discuss the risk of using its service and control and other procedure that abc should have in place to address those risks. So once we glance through the information, we will catch uh, most of the requirement. So our next step, which is step number four, is to read the intro page very carefully and jot down the important information. So let's jump to whiteboard and read the intro page very carefully this time. All right, so we have a whiteboard on the right hand side. Um, um, so the first thing that I would do is to jot the timeline over here. The timeline is very important because it captures some very important information about like the year and what day is it, um, if it's financial statement, are they late on financial statement, are we doing internal analysis before the financial statement end or so. So the time is very, very important. So we read the case very carefully this time. So VEC is our client and provide eye examination and sells prescription eyewear and high-end sunglasses. So uh, it's just a general introduction about VECs, but there is not much like information that we need to capture about. And the second paragraph said is like early 2019. So over here, I will jot down 2019. So it's today. Okay. And uh, Michelle is the uh, founder of VEC. Um, so she has her first year, uh, which ended in December 31st, 2018. She is surprised to see only a small profit comes to you. So she's expecting a bigger profit. Uh, over here, I will jot down my row over here okay so um that's it for the second paragraph and um she wants to better understand her business so she has prepared the product line analysis which is in appendix one so we are expecting some um, quantitative analysis over here so because she's not sure she has done it right she has asked you to review her cost allocation and make all require revision so this is require number one so review cost allocation and make revision you can also say appendix one over here fourth paragraph she's also thinking of eliminating the sunglass line business so she asks you to determine whether she, there is a support for eliminating it and the impact it would have on VEC's profitability. So this is R2, job on glass. Um, so sometimes the requirement for one requirement, it can have quantitative and qualitative analysis. So it's very important in this point to jot down both quantitative and qualitative analysis uh, requirements so that you do not miss any of the point later. And next, she realized that she lacks the skill set and time to perform detailed financial review. So she wants to know about the KPI. So she asked you how KPI could be useful to her and which KPI you would recommend and why. So there are actually a couple of requirements over here. So she asked you how KPI useful. Number two, which KPI, KPI recommend. And actually number three, why that KPI? Okay, so let's continue with this reading. And then uh, she is thinking about adding another partner, uh, a second optometrist. 
and she will like your thought on the uh, strategic advantage and disadvantage of the arrangement. Uh, so she already have a person in her mind. So we need to do some analysis on that person to see if he is or she is a good fit of the partner. So this is appendix number two. I can put it over here. Okay, um, so make sure that when you are answering this question, always make sure all the points are uh, answered. So for this one is advantage and disadvantage. In addition, which is R5, she gather information for VEC and her own tax return and has some questions. Okay, finally, um, Michelle has been approached by ABC Cloud with a proposal to store VEC data. So which is in, is it appendix four? So Michelle asked you to discuss the risk of using the service and the control um, and other procedure that ABC should have in place to address the risk. So, so ABC Cloud, so what kind of risk is with ABC Cloud? And second, what kind of control that we can use and other procedure that should have in place. So it's quite a messy page, but uh, what I was trying to illustrate is in a big white paper, it is suggested that on the right hand side, you jot down the timeline. And on the very top of the page, you can jot down who is the owner, who you are reporting to, and what is your role. Are you an internal? or external advisor and then leave some space between each requirement because in the future appendix reading you can jot down the information in the blank page so that is very important so once we spend some good quality of time in uh, jotting down the requirement we can go ahead to read the rest of the page all right so by using the whiteboard we have a good understanding about what are the requirements so it is very important for us to know what we are being asked so that we can target all the questions and the sub questions like i mentioned about um, so finally, I will just briefly go over the case and give you some more hints about how I read the case. So when you are first reading the case, uh, one of the biggest questions that the CPA candidate encounter is they are lacking of time to write the case. One of the biggest uh, reason about the running out of time is students analyze the case while reading the case. But when you are in the third step reading the case, it is suggested not to overanalyze the case, but just to jot down the important information. For instance, we know that the appendix number one is the product line analysis. Uh, usually, I would suggest that when you see a date or a time, you highlight it. But because we know that appendix number one, they are all about the product line analysis. So it's just taking too much time to highlight all the information. And there's a very concentrated place that we can find the number. So we do not need to, to highlight the numbers over here. And then there are some notes which is pretty important um, so we know that the appendix number one are all about numbers and quantitative factors uh, the appendix one continue bc has four year lease contract so sometimes i will uh, highlight this one and the foot space uh, square foot space related exams and prescription so we don't know if it is if the number will be used directly in our essay writing but highlighting it enable us to catch the number if needed uh, very quickly but just do not overanalyze it do not start doing the calculation when you are reading the case which is very essential in dealing with the lack of time information so this is the li professional liability insurance and those are the cost of the insurance so i will highlight them and then after you glance through the information we go to the second optometric so 
this is just the candidate charm that he might be the second candidate so he's like 28 years old really young and he has become optometrist two years ago might be a little bit inexperienced but we don't know but don't over analyze it and just read through it and get some basic understanding about charm for instance like those important information can be delivered back to the whiteboard just to catch up and also in the whiteboard when you jot down the important information you can put where you find the page for instance it's page number three in a real case scenario and then when you jot down tom is 28 years so uh, next to the page you can write down a p3 indicate you find the information in page number three so this is about tom's family status so michelle is 47 so she's pretty experienced those are all the personal information so so the way that they offer Operate. the business may differ but we don't know yet and don't overanalyze it until you start finish reading the case and start writing the case and finally there are some taxation questions like always we highlight it we read and there's another time in the timeline I will leave the reading and then finally we we'll finish the in, uh, finish the reading by information on ABC cloud what kind of risks they have and if we do decide to use ABC, um, what kind of implementation to alleviate the risk. That's it like for reading a case. So a case reading should usually cost about 15 to 20 percent uh, of the entire case reading time. Um, so make sure to use the time very carefully. Don't overspend it, but don't underutilize the case time because like if you just glance through it and come back and read again, so it's like two times the time. So it's maybe it's better to just read it the first time and then to tackle to pick up most of the important information or at least get a good reference back to the case and start writing your case. All right, welcome back. Um, so I hope that my demo of the essay writing notes taking is beneficial for you to tackle your next CPA exam and like always I'm here to support young professional and small business owner to take charge of their life so make sure to subscribe hit the bell and I will post value-added information every week so stay tuned and have a great day